Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to Computer Games Hardware. Today I am back with the Pine Max Crystal Light, and as you guys might know, I've been having a really good time with this thing. So what I wanted to do today is do a little bit of a setup optimization guide so you guys know how to get the absolute best out of your Pine Max Crystal Light. Just so you guys know, I do put the paid promotion label up there, but I'm not getting paid for this video. Pine Max did send over the Crystal Light for me to play around with. So whenever I receive a free product or anything like that that's what i do i put it up there anyway just in case just to make sure i believe uh youtube recommends doing that anyway but i just wanted to be transparent with you guys all right let's get stuck into it here's everything you're going to need first up you're going to need your pimax crystal light you've got Two of your controllers, you got the left and the right controllers, they come with USB-C to USB-A cables, and then you've got your power brick, which has interchangeable power plugs for whatever region you're in. Okay guys, that's everything you get in the box with the Pimax Crystal Light. Let's also talk about everything else you need. You're obviously gonna wanna need a PC with a discrete graphics card, and you're gonna want your GPU to be somewhere around the 30, 80, 40, 70 sort of mark. I have a 6800 XT, which is right about that mid-range there. So that's the sort of uh, processing power that you're going to need to be able to run your yeah, crystal light silky smooth. You'll also want to make sure that your PC is up to date, your GPU drivers are up to date. You also want to download Pimax Play because we will show that in a minute. Get that set up. You also want to update the firmware on not only your headset the crystal light but the controllers as well you're also going to want to measure your ipd that's your interpupillary distance so you can do this manually you can do it with an app you can do it with a ruler um, there is also an auto function but i've seen around that it's best to probably measure it yourself so you can dial that in make sure you've got plenty of room for vr activities as well Should have been look at all this floor space so much aerobics in here. So many activities. Do step class. It's making my head spin how many activities we can do. Pimax Australia is holding an exclusive spring promotion. Click the link in the description below to fill out the form and unlock 120 bucks off code immediately for your Pimax Crystal Light purchase. Guys, you're gonna wanna hurry because this offer ends on November 1st. You can also use my gift code CGHWGIFT at the checkout to get an extra 25 US spring gaming fund. That's a digital Steam gift card after you receive your headset. You can also get 3% off using code CGHW if you're looking for Crystal Light or Crystal Super bundles. Go to Pimax's website. Thanks very much, everybody. What I've done to make my experience a whole lot easier is I have uh, power at the back. I have run an extension cord right to the front of my PC and so I can plug in the power. All right. Now, what you want to do is plug in your power. Make sure you give your cable enough room to sit comfortably and move. Now, just plug in your USB-C. In. And your display port. Always make sure that your display port is in correctly. Just give it a little bit of a tap. There you go. Okay, guys. Now that we're all plugged in and set up and ready to go, let's take a look at Pimax Play. Now, I'm going to assume that if you have a headset that you've already downloaded the Pimax Play software. If you haven't, go to the Pimax website, go all the way down to support, and then downloads and download the latest version of Pimax Play. Okay, so we're in Pimax Play here. As you can see, we're in the store right here. So Pimax actually has a number of uh, exclusive experiences, some pretty cool games. They've got a best of section. Uh, there's a horror section for October. They've got some pretty cool new utilities. So you should check that out. There's some good stuff there. They've even got some weekly deals. You also have the My Assets section. And this is where most of your games are going to be. So you'll see here a little label comes up that labels them as Steam. So the, all your Steam games come up and you can play them through the Pimax Play software. Okay. 
Uh, next, you've got your account and my wallet. I'm not going to show you that because that's mine, not yours, but that's where all your personal details and stuff like that are. Next up, we've got the settings. So the main thing you want to going to want to do here in the settings is check for updates. So let's do that. My Pimax Crystal Light is on the latest version. But one thing I wanted to draw your attention to is the help section because you can go straight to the official website for Pimax here. Uh, you can go into all the Pimax community features, into the Discord channel uh, and the official forum as well. So if you're having any trouble with your Pimax Crystal Light or any of your other headsets, there is some pretty good features for you guys to be able to, uh, you know, get some support. You even have like an online support ticket and a ticket system. But hey, if you're a gamer and you want to jump into the Crystal Lights community, you'll even find yours truly there. So uh, jump into the Discord, come and say hi. And if you need some help from a fellow gamer, uh, you can uh, shout me out and I'll try my best to help everyone out. Here's where you're going to want to be. All right at the bottom here, you'll see in the green the Pimax Crystal Light. And this sets you up with everything so i heard that before my time that the uh software probably wasn't uh up to scratch but i'm really happy with this software you've got guidance tells you everything that you want where all the features and the buttons are uh it tells you how to set your uh tells you how to set your headset up and you can even do some troubleshooting so you'll see Mine went all green because I've set up mine correctly, but if you have an issue, it will be able to tell you. Okay, so I'm just gonna get out of that. It can, It also shows you how to set up your room, so uh, it'll get you to go into, uh, into VR and show you how to do that through your um, headset. Um, and you can set your controllers. So as you can see, mine are already paired, but all you do is you press the menu button, that's the hamburger button, and you press Y on the left controller, and you press B on the right controller, just to, and hold them down, and that will pair your controller. Okay, also important to remember that the left and the right joysticks are different. So uh, one side is AB, the other is XY. So just remember that. If you're ever unsure which one's which, AB, right, XY, left. All right, guys. So you click on the device settings and a separate menu pops up. I would love it to be inside the menu, but such is life. Okay. So first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your headset is up to date. So let's do that. Checks the firmware, all good. Controllers are all good too, so that is good. Now, let's go through some of the main settings. So the tracking settings and the room lighting frequency should be left on auto. You've got the choice between 60 and 50 hertz, but as you can see here, auto will uh, automatically detect your light frequency. So uh, in different regions of the world, you might have different lighting frequencies. Here in Australia, it's 50 hertz. Uh, so in the US, it's 60 hertz. So you want to play around with it. But auto automatically checks it for me. Now, you also have re recline mode. So recline mode is basically when if you're lying down or you're sitting on the couch and you're just chilling and you don't want it to track too much, um, you can turn the tracking off in recline mode and that's if you want to like watch movies or uh, use your desktop within the Pimax headset uh, you can do that if you long press the up and down buttons the volume buttons uh, it will automatically recalibrate it for you if it goes out of sync so there you go all right guys you can also set your refresh rate now I got to tell you I have had an excellent experience on 120 mode I've set it to 90 Hertz right now um, because I think that's the best sort of balanced performance that uh, you'll get for most headsets. And I've actually been playing uh, Half-Life Alex on 90 Hertz because it takes up uh, a lot of uh, resources and that's the best experience for me. 
You can also put it in uh, 90 hertz in upscaled mode. So uh, it says lab there. So I believe that that might be experimental. Uh, so you can try that out. It's uh, like having a headset FSR. I've got the brightness all the way up and you can see that my IPD is 65.5. So it's 0.4 mil here. So that's dialed in for my eyes. That's the perfect setting for me. Uh, and I sort of like to have my uh, vibration down. I have it a little bit lower, but I've been enjoying Half-Life Alex, uh, as I said. So I've got it around 60. I might just uh, put that down at uh, 40. I'm gonna put it on 40. Now, another cool feature, on Pimax is you can simulate the valve index controllers and you can even go in controlless mode uh, and you can hold the uh, volume buttons up or down for a few seconds to open up Steam VR and the quick uh, menu. So there you go. Now with your games, uh, you've got some common settings. I'm gonna leave that. You can change it to per game settings. Now, you know, the Pimax is famous for its like simulation and racing setups and stuff like that. Now, I don't really use it like that. I've just got myself a, a, a nice racing wheel for my birthday. So I'm going to test that out. So uh, check out for more videos of that in the near future. But um, I generally play like single player games and I've been playing Beat Saber with the kids and stuff like that. So that's what I've sort of tailored it to. So for the image quality, I've put it on auto. For the GPU upscaling, I have a uh, Radeon card. So I've checked uh, FSR and I've chosen balance. Now I've actually been using it on quality for my personal rig, uh, but I've put it on balance because I think that's the uh, setting that most people should probably use. Now you've got uh, fixed foveated, uh, fixed foveated rendering. Um, so basically what that does, it, uh, uh, makes your uh, screens into four different sections and it uh, you, you know renders the middle section or where your eyes looking uh, the most and it's sort of like uh, in headset FSR what does it say here breaking down the scene into four distinct views two outer views or peripheral views and two inner views also called voviated or focus views so there you go so you've got your outer views and then you've got the where your main focus is on um and it, it changes the rendering depending on what you're looking at so uh you can change those to performance balance quality or ultra again it's like in headset fsr you can also lock to half frame rate. So uh, it limits the frame rate according to the headset display refresh rate to prevent screen tearing. This option doesn't work if the rendered frame rate is lower than the selected option from the GPU limitation, which makes sense. So we're gonna leave that on, um, but you can also uh, put a hidden area mask in as well. Uh, so the hidden area mask uh, means if you go uh, out of bounds, it's not going to um, stuff up your uh, gameplay and stuff like that. All right, you've got your color options. So I've left that on all. Uh, you've got your contrast on. Uh, you can change that per eye. Generally, I would uh, link those so it looks the same uh, because I wouldn't want to have um, different contrast in either eye. That's just a personal preference. All right, and then you have uh, have the headset as the default audio device. That's what I like to do. I like to have the uh, the 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 Pimax audio coming in from the headset. Um, you know, when we're paying like Beat Saber and stuff like that, I'll switch it over on the computer to uh, my display or soundbar or whatever, so we can all enjoy it as a family. But generally, if I'm playing like Half-Life or I'm playing another game, um, Arizona Sunshine, whatever it might be, I want that experience like in my head. So there you go. You've also got home. I just leave that on default and you've got some troubleshooting. We're not going to go through the troubleshooting that we'll do that in another video for another time. Then you've got all your advanced settings, right? You've got your horizontal IPD offset. So you can change this per eye for the horizontal and the vertical offset, uh, which is pretty cool. You do really want to make sure that you get your IPD correct, because if you don't, 
that can that's what makes you feel a little bit dizzy when you're playing in VR. So particularly if you're just starting out or you're not used to it, um, make sure that you dial that in properly. Now, also for me, I like to have the local dimming right in the middle. You can do pass through with your Pimax Crystal Light as well, and it's got a really cool feature. I'll show you. I'll just jump on the headset for a little bit just to give you a visual demonstration. So what you can do, if you ever want to pass through, you're able to see the room that you're in. If someone walks in and you want to talk to them and you want to see them, but you don't really want to take your headset off, you can do that. What you have to do is go like that, and then the view comes up. You can do it on that side as well, right? Um, You, you can do it quite hefty. So that goes out and back in so now i can see my whole room okay so you can do that and then bam okay pretty cool feature that's what that toggles on and off and then activate chaperone uh does the same thing if you go out of bounds uh it'll turn on your field of view so you can see your room uh then you've got hotkeys and you've got motion compensation uh you can uh, uh play around with this per controller uh we don't have to we've just dialed in our settings all right, guys, now that we've done all that, it's time to get into some gaming. So let's do it, baby. more we had such a good time using our pimax crystal light this is my father uh, having a formative experience looking at his hometown in italy the kids just absolutely loved Beat Saber. So this has been a real family uh, entertainment experience from us. We've had such a good time. This is uh, Computer Games Alyssa just smashing Beat Saber and then me and Computer Games Sophia having a great time as well. This has been such a good experience for us. So hopefully with these settings, you can dial them in and have a great experience as well. Look at him go. What a legend. And I do have to say big happy birthday to the old fella. Uh, thanks for everything you've done for us. All the best. Hope you had a good time in VR, mate. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a look at me. I'm all sweaty like I've been watching cops, but I've had a really good time with the crystal light, getting it set up and playing all those VR games. Big thank you to everyone who's joined me on my VR journey. And just a reminder for all you Aussies out there that the spring sale $120 off uh, offer that Pimax is giving ends on November 1st. So you've got about seven, eight days to cash in on that one. So use the link in the description below and don't forget to use my code CGHWGIFT and CGHW at the checkout to get a few extra little goodies. All right, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.